Hey guys, welcome back to our channel Glitched Velocity. I'm your host Vazahat, and today in this video, I'm gonna demonstrate another shader action that allows us to pixelate textures in Coppercube 3D. This shader action is completely free to download from my website www.neophyte.cf. You can download the shader action from here. Once you have downloaded and installed the shader action to your computer, now open up your Copper Cube editor. I have already deleted the default cube mesh and the default skybox and set my background color to this. So the first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to add some textures in my editor. As you can see, I have a bunch of images here. So I'm going to select them all and click open. Once the textures are loaded in the texture panel, I'm going to create a new plane mesh, put tile count one and leave other settings to the default values. And then I will apply any of the texture, for example, this Kung Fu Panda here. And now I'm going to change the material from solid to transparent alpha channel. And now we are going to apply our shader action. So first we have to apply a behavior triggered by events when a key is pressed to something, change the key type from A to F. And then I'm going to apply the shader action by going in scripted action and select pixelated effect. Once you have selected the shader action, we will be provided with a bunch of different options here. The first one is our affecting node. Uh, it is the node on which the shader gets applied. In this case, it is our plane mesh. So I'm going to select the plane mesh here. Then we have affect all materials and affecting material. Suppose if your model has multiple textures, they can, then you can uncheck this and supply the material index or the material ID here. In this case, we have only one material, so we can leave it to one, but I'm going to check this affect all materials here because we want our shader to affect all the materials of this plane mesh. Then we have base material type. You can change it to zero for solid and 13 for transparent alpha texture. Then we have texture X resolution or the texture horizontal resolution and texture Y resolution or the texture vertical resolution. So if you see this Kung Fu Panda texture here, as 512 by 512 horizontal and vertical resolution so you have to put these values here according to your texture resolution if i have to choose this texture here on this plane mesh then we have 840 horizontal resolution and 514 vertical resolution so if i have to use this texture then i have to put here 840 for the texture x resolution and 514 for the texture y resolution then we have horizontal pixels and vertical pixels so these are the pixels which will remain on the texture after the shader gets applied so these are the pixels uh, at which the animation will be applied to for example uh, when the shader gets applied to this texture it will animate this texture from 840 pixels to if i put 50 here and 50 for the vertical pixels then it will animate from 840 horizontal pixels to 50 horizontal pixels and 514 horizontal pixels to 50 horizontal pixels and then we have animation speed you can increase or decrease it according to your preferences then we have inverted animation and action unfinished let me just test the application and we will get to the other properties so if i press ctrl f10 now if i press f then it will start animating from 840 horizontal pixels to 50 horizontal pixels and 514 horizontal pixels to 50 sorry 514 vertical pixels to 50 vertical pixels if i press f now then it will start animating as you can see the texture is now vibrating so it is animating at the speed of one you can increase the speed if you want the process to be faster or uh, you can decrease it if you want the process to be slower so this is how it looks when we have 50 horizontal pixels and 50 vertical pixels we can also decrease or increase these vertical pixels here for example if i set it to like 30 and 50 vertical pixels and now if i test the application then it will start wiggling or vibrating or you can say animating and then we will have 30 by 50 by 30 pixels you can say 30 by 50 pixels 
on this texture. Then we have inverted animation. What this will do is it will animate the texture from zero, zero horizontal scale or zero horizontal pixels to 30 horizontal pixels and zero vertical pixels to 50 vertical pixels. Let me just quickly change this horizontal pixels to 50. So now if I select this inverted animation, then this will animate the texture from 0 to 50 horizontal pixels and 0 to 50 vertical pixels. Let me just check it very quickly. If I press F now, then it will start from 0 to 50. As you can see, it started from 0, but the animation speed is so high that we are unable to examine it. If I press F again, let me just decrease the animation speed to something like 0 0.1 and if I click OK now and test the application then you will notice the animation better. If I press F then as you can see it is animating from 0 pixels to 50 pixels. So it, it is like it's collecting all the pixels from the texture and animating it. So this is the final result 50 by 50 pixels if you have this animated or inverted animation selected you can increase or decrease the speed then we have this last option here action on finish suppose if you want to execute an action once the animation is completed then you can supply it here for example if i want to change the texture of this plane mesh to something else i can attach a new action change a texture here and then select our plane mesh as change which scene node here and then can supply a texture here for example this spongebob character here and if i click ok and ok and now if i test the application then this plane mesh should change its texture to this spongebob once the animation is completed so if i press ctrl f10 now wait oops so where we have here we have the application so if i press f to apply the shader effect then it should start animating from 0 to 50 and then it should change the animation to spongebob so as you can see the animation started playing and once it gets completed it should change the texture to spongebob so yeah it changed the texture of this plane mesh to spongebob and you can use any kind of texture or image for this plane mesh or for your model for example this kung fu panda here and if i change the settings here for example 540 512 by 512 because we have horizontal and vertical resolution of 512 by 512 for this panda texture here and you can increase or decrease the horizontal pixels for example i want it to be like uh, 30 and 30 and i'm going to remove this change a texture effect from this shader and if i test the application if i press f now and it should start animating from 0 to 30 pixels and as you can see our high resolution panda texture is now pixelated by 30 pixels horizontally and 30 pixels vertically so you can play with these settings and can get the desired result let me just change it back to normal not the inverted animation but i like the inverted animation because it is so cool to see every pixel coming from each direction and collecting in center of the plane mesh so if i press ctrl f10 and press f then it will slowly start vibrating and pixelating to you know 30 pixels horizontally and 30 pixels vertically so yeah that's pretty much it this is how the shader works and this is how you can pixelate textures in copper cube 3d game engine with this free shader action 
hope you like the video if you enjoyed the video then don't forget to subscribe the channel and give it a thumbs up you can download the sheet direction from the link in the description down below or you can navigate to www.neofight.cf and search for it in the assets section that's all thanks a lot bye bye have a good day